Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's March 20th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm joined by Dan Bingham from BAM's Capital Market Desk. Uh, Dan, another unprecedented week in the muni market, much higher yields on all the benchmark uh, yield curves for the market. Uh, what were driving the activity this week? Yeah, Mike, uh, thank you, and thank you for joining us all this afternoon. Um, seems to me like every week we uh, come into this and talk about the volatility. Uh, it seems like it can't get uh, any worse or any more volatile. Um, and here we are at the end of the uh, end of the week, and I, I'm looking at some of the numbers, just the absolute numbers, um, and they seem static in comparison to the volatility that we've seen here. Um, you start looking at 10-year uh, MMD uh, setting at a 279, 317% of the 88 basis point 10-year treasury, 30-year MMD setting at a 337, um, that's 232% of the 30-year uh, market uh, 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 ratios that are really uh, unprecedented and haven't seen certainly since 08 and probably even uh, even before that. Um, so continuation of the tremendous volatility um, as you uh, as people have become somewhat accustomed to. And that can be tied back to municipal uh, bond mutual fund flow, cash flows generally, right? So Lipper reported uh, over $12 billion of outflows this week. Yes, absolutely. And we, um, you know, we had talked a lot pretty extensively about the inflows in the 58, 59, 60 weeks of uh, record inflows. Um, those turned around a couple of weeks ago and we saw uh, uh, what used to be a very big number of a billion or two inflow. Uh, we saw a 12 billion outflow this week and certainly overwhelmed um, the dealer ability to inventory paper uh, to make stock bids um, and the ability to distribute some of that into crossover accounts. And that stretched across the whole credit spectrum. I, you know, $5 billion of that was out of high yield funds, but uh, higher grade funds also saw outflows as well. Yeah, and it's uh, the pressure that we're seeing is, is across the curve with daily and weekly floaters setting um, in the high uh, single digit ranges and in some cases up into the double digit range um, where you would typically see volatility and a flight to quality. We're just seeing a mass exit from the muni market at this point in time. So what uh, what are you seeing on BAM side? I know the BAM was active in the secondary market, particularly this week. They're at seventy six million dollars of primary market new issue transactions. But on the secondary market, uh, what kind of transactions were people doing? Yeah, sure. So uh, the secondary uh, market activity was actually pretty robust this week. We saw a, a number of uh, sh I'll call it structures uh, that work better for insurance as threes went to a discount, fours went to a discount, and in some cases, fives went to a discount. But we put in, uh, an insured secondary pieces of Grand Parkway, Met Pier, Illinois, Jersey Echo, uh, New York State Thruway, State of New Jersey GO, Port Authority, along with a number of other uh, different credits in here, uh, partly to do with, as I say, the structure of the transaction. But also, um, uh, in addition to that, people are, are looking at the credit quality of the underlying municipalities and purchasing credit enhancement through BAM. And that's a, an interesting point. So earlier this week, BAM put out a frequently asked questions document, both about the credit quality of our portfolio as well as muni credit more generally. Uh, that can be viewed on our website. And Suzanne Finnegan, our chief credit officer, recorded a Credit Insights video with myself on Wednesday. I uh, urge people to watch that as well. A really interesting conversation about that municipal credit is probably more stable than investors may be giving it credit for in this marketplace. And as they figure that out, uh, we might find some stability going forward. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I think it's the uncertainty uh, and the uh, nervousness about how this will unfold that is uh, causing people to be fearful. And as things settle down, we'll see we'll get much better clarity into that.